Hi, this is the second video in the adding and subtraction uh, fraction notes. Um, so if you watched the earlier video, we talked about how to add and subtract like denominators. In this video, we're going to um, move on to how to add and subtract with unlike denominators. All right, so when fractions do not have a common denominator, so when this number on the bottom is not the same, then you have to rewrite the fractions using the least common denominator before you add or subtract the numerators. So you can't get to this part until you've done something with the denominator. So remember, whenever you multiply times the denominator, you also have to multiply times the, um, oh, sorry, whenever you multiply times the numerator, I will fix that on yours, you have to also multiply times the denominator. All right, so here's an example. We have one half plus one fourth. We want to find the least common denominator. That's just an abbreviation for that. So um, it's also called the least common multiple. So if I go ahead and look at the multiples of two, two times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, and I could keep going. On this one, four times one is four, four times two is eight. And I really just wanna go until I find um, a multiple that they have in common. All right, since, since they both have a four, that's gonna be my least common denominator. All right, so that means I wanna change the two down here into a four. And this one, because it's already a four, I don't have to change. All right, in order to change a two into a four, all right, in order to change a two into a four, I have to multiply it by something. So what times two gave me four? Well, two. So two times two is gonna give me four, but if I do it to the bottom, if I do it to my numerator or my denominator, I have to also do it to my numerator. Um, all right, so then the new fraction is two fourths plus one fourth. Again, I didn't have to change this one, sometimes you will, and because it was already four, and that's the uh, least common denominator. All right, so now they have the same denominator, I add or subtract the top, so two plus one is three, and I keep my denominator the same, and check to see if you can simplify it. You can't, oops, sorry, I can't see that. So this is my answer, three fourths. All right, take a look at number one. So the first thing to do, to check the denominators, they are not the same, six and three. So I wanna find their common denominator or their least common multiple. In order to do that, I find the multiples of each number. So the multiples of six, and sometimes you might be able to just do this in your head. I'm gonna write it all down just in case um, you need it. So the multiples of six, six times one is six, six times two is 12, six times three is 18. For three, three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine. And again, once I have one that's the same, I can stop. So the common denominator is gonna be six. The first fraction already has the six. I'm not gonna change it, I'm gonna leave it as one six. The second fraction though, I need to change the three to a six. So what times three equals six? Well, three times two. And again, if I do this one times two, I have to do this one times two as well. Now my new problem is one six plus four six, two times two is four, three times two is six. And um, if you do this and then you don't get the same denominator, then you multiplied by something wrong, um, or you multiply wrong. So then add your uh, numerators, one plus four is five, keep the denominator the same, five, six, and that is simplified, so that is my answer. And number two, I have the denominators of five and two, so I'm gonna start by finding a least common denominator. So five times one is five, five times two is 10, five times three is 15. For two, two times one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six, two times four is eight, two times two, or five is 10. Okay, so 10 is the number they have in common. Now this time, neither one of these is 10, so I'm gonna have to multiply both of them. So I start with four fifths, but what times five is gonna give me 10? Uh, times two, all right? So then I'm gonna do that on top as well. Okay, for this one, I'm gonna move that negative to the top and make it negative one. And then what times two gives me 10? Well, two times five. So I'm gonna do times five on top. All right, so then to uh, go ahead and rewrite the problem now, after you multiply, four times two is eight over 10. Over here, negative one times five is negative five over 10. They have the same denominator, so I can add or subtract their numerators. 8 plus negative 5, these are different signs, so I subtract and keep the most, all right, I have more positives, so this is going to be positive 3 
my numerator or denominator stays the same, so three tenths. All right, that doesn't simplify, so that's my answer. Like at three, negative one third minus negative one fourth. All right, so I'm going to start by finding my denominator. So if I have three, let's see, and four, three times one is three, three times two is six, three times uh, three is nine, three times four is 12, four times one is four, four times two is eight, four times three is 12. All right, so these are, 12 is going to be their common multiple. I'm sorry, I can't see that. Okay. So 3, 6, 9, and 12, and then 4, 8, and 12, these are what they had in common. You have to keep going until you find one that's the same, and sometimes it's really short, sometimes it takes a while. All right, so then I'm going to go back and rewrite the problem. So negative 1 third, I'm going to put the negative with the 1, and what times 3 gives me 12? Times 4. So I do that on the top as well. Then, okay, now because this is subtraction, I'm gonna rewrite it as addition. So I'm gonna do the keep change thing, change here, or keep change opposite here. So I'm keeping that one negative. I'm changing subtraction to addition. I'm changing the negative one fourth to positive one fourth. All right, so now that this is a positive one fourth, but I still have to change the denominator. So and I'm changing it to 12. So what times four is 12? times three. So do that on top as well, times three. All right, then rewrite your problem. Negative one times four is negative four over 12. One times three is three over 12. All right, these have different signs, negative four plus three, so I subtract them. So that would be one. There's more negatives, so this is a negative one. Keep my denominator 12. This does not simplify, so that's my answer, negative one twelve. All right, on four, same idea. You just have a set of uh, three fractions. And um, because these are in parentheses, I'm gonna start with those first. But I'm gonna go ahead and find the common denominator of all three of these, because I know that eventually I'm gonna have to add or subtract them. All right, so when that happens, you just find the least common multiple of all three numbers. So I have six, three, and two. So six times one is six, six times two is 12. I'm gonna try three, three times one is three, three times two is six. So they already have one in common, I'm gonna try two. Two times two, one is two, two times two is four, two times three is six. All right, so six is gonna work. So over here, five, six is already five, six, so I don't need to change it. I'm gonna leave it alone, All right? One third has to change. I wanna change the three to a six, so what times three is six? Two. So do that times two on top. And over here I have minus one half, so I'm gonna change that to six as well. So three, um, two times three will give you six, so times three on top, all right? And then because this is in parentheses, I'm gonna go ahead and figure that out first. All right, so five, six plus two times one is two, two times three is six, and then over here I have one times three is three, two times three is six, I'm gonna do these first. So five plus two is seven, and then minus three would be four. Keep the denominator six. All right, and then this time I can simplify, so I need to go ahead and do that before I call it finished. These are both divisible by two. So four divided by two is two, six divided by two is three, and that is my answer, two thirds. All right, last one. Um, again, I have three different fractions with three different denominators. They need to all be the same before I can complete them. So I'm going to find the common denominator of all three of these. So I have 12, 4, and an 8. So 12 times 1 is 12. 12 times 2 is 24. 4 is 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. 4 times 3 is 12. So that might work. But I know that nothing times 8 is 12, so I'm going to keep going. So 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 5 is 20. I'm running out of room. 4 times 6 is 24. All right, so that might work. And for 8, I'm going to have 8 times 1 is 8. 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. All right, so 24 works for all three. That's going to be my common denominator. So again, I'm going back over here. I need to change all three of them since none of them were 24. 
Um, I'm going to move the negative to the top with the 7, so negative 7 over 12. If I change 12 to 24, I have to multiply it by 2, so I'm going to do that on top as well. And then because I'm subtracting and there's a lot of negatives here, I'm going to use keep change change on this as well. So I'm going to keep this change to add and change to the opposite. So this becomes plus, and then the 3 was positive, so now I'm going to make it negative 3 over 4. All right, so I'm changing the 4 to 24, so I need to multiply times 6, do that on top as well. And then, again, I have subtracting and negative, so I'm going to do keep change change again. So that this is the part that keeps, I'm going to keep the 3, change to add, and change to the opposite, All right? Um, so this becomes adding, and then the opposite of negative 1 is positive, so this is 1 over 8. But the 8 is not what I want, I want it to be 24, so what times 8 is 24? 3, so do that on top. All right, and then I'm going to keep these first two in parentheses so that I know to do those first. Negative 7 times 2 is negative 14. 12 times 2 is 24. Negative 3 times 6 is negative 18. 4 times 6 is 24. And then 1 times 3 is 3. And 8 times 3 is 24. All right, so start with the first two. I have two negative numbers, negative 14 plus negative 18. Since they're both negative, I can add those up. If you don't know what that is, then write it down. 12, 32. All right, so I'm going to get a negative 32. I'm going to do it down here because I'm running out of room. So negative 32 over 24, and then I still have the plus 3 over 24. All right, so then negative 32 plus 3, the, this time the signs are different. So instead of adding them, I actually subtract them. So now I need to do 32 minus 3, which is... 29 and then this number is negative because I have more negatives than positives. So I have negative 29 over 24. All right, so this is an improper fraction because 29 is bigger than 24, so I need to divide it. Oh, running out of room. All right, so how about over here? Divide 24 into 29 gives one time with five left over. So the one is my whole number and it's negative because the fraction was negative, negative one. The five is the numerator, and 24 is still the denominator. And then this does not simplify, so this is my final answer. All right, so that is adding, subtracting with unlike denominators. So really the only thing different is you've got to find the common denominator before you can um, add their numerators, and then you do that by finding their least common multiple or least common denominator, and then just uh, remember, Whatever you multiply times the denominator to change it, you also have to multiply that same num number times the numer numerator. All right, I'll see you later.